Dear Alex, in all my life, I never thought I'd be so lucky to meet, let alone fall in love with someone like you. What's even more special is that you, the woman of my dreams, somehow miraculously loves me back. Alex, I love you. You are everything to me. On today, our wedding day, I promise to you that I will always be here by your side. I promise to always take care of you, to watch over you, and be a beam of light when times get dark. Squeeze my hand, put your forehead against mine, or just come in for one of those perfect puzzle piece hugs, and I will be there to hold you forever. I'm here because I love you, and I'm not going anywhere. I promise you are the love of my life, my best friend, my twin flame. I love you, and I promise to love you for as long as I live. Daniel. Daniel, if someone would have told me that I would be marrying that blue, shivering, skinny boy from swim team, I would have been shocked. I can't believe I've known you for 20 years of my life. It feels like we've been together since then, and I can't even imagine my life without you. It's crazy to think how similar our lives have been, and that we can relate on so many different levels. I really do believe everything happens for a reason, and I'm so incredibly happy you started talking to me that one night before Christmas, almost seven years ago. As we stand here on our wedding day, I am filled with so many overwhelming emotions. I feel so blessed to have you in my life. I feel so happy to be able to hug you and kiss you. I feel so grateful for everything you've done and continue to do for me. You are an amazing man. You're thoughtful, intelligent, hilarious, loving, gentle, kind, and handsome. I feel like I fall in love with you every day, over and over again. You have made me a better person. With you, I feel safe. I feel comforted. You love me for who I am, despite all of my flaws. When we started hanging out all those years ago, it was as if my soul fit together with yours, like a missing puzzle piece. You were not just my soulmate, but my twin flame. I found myself in you. I'm so excited to start this journey together as husband and wife. <laughs> I know one day you'll be an excellent father, and I'm so excited we get to experience everything life has to offer together. I get to fall asleep next to you every night and wake up by your side every morning. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. You are the love of my life, Daniel. I promise to let you know that every single day. No matter what challenges or struggles that lie ahead, I choose you to be by your side through all of the ups and downs. I promise to listen, be patient, understanding, and respect you. I promise to be willing to face change and trust that we will always be there for each other. I am not a perfect person, but you make me feel like I am, and I hope I can do the same for you one day. Yours forever, Alexandra. Alex was the absolutely cutest, <laughs> like with the curly hair and the big glasses and she was so curious and loving and she just had the biggest heart. I watched Alex grow into the passionate, generous, loving and so incredibly entrepreneurial woman that she's become today. One of the first things that comes to mind about these two is how much they complement each other. Since we both share the same unique job, we know how trying it can be on a relationship, yet they always look out for each other. I think our favorite memory is our time spent with them in Ireland. While that doesn't mean much to most of you, something you should know, and might already know, is Dan makes the best jokes. Sometimes very questionable jokes. <laughs> These jokes have kept us laughing. Alex, you are someone who make us feel incredibly special. You are such a good listener, and you have the biggest heart. Besides the fact that you always take us to Dagwoods and bring us ice caps straight off the plane, which you know is the only reason why we come to visit, uh, you've welcomed us into your families and introduced us to your friends here, and we feel really at home with you guys. Alex and Dan, you are some of the most thoughtful, generous people we know. And while we've never known you individually, we've always known you as a team. You are perfect for each other, and we are so happy to know you. Cheers. I've known Dan and Alex since we were eight years old. We spent competitively together. We had incredible memories together, and I cannot pick a favorite one, but I'll try. Dan was the biggest shit disturber. <laughs> Oh my god, was he ever
He was the definition of cracking it under peer pressure because he just loved the attention. <laughs> All he had to say was, do it. <laughs> and Dan would do anything. I swear, every time we went anywhere together, we gave the adult in the room a nervous breakdown with our adrenaline-packed childish behavior. I mean, that time Dan was throwing up profusely at Coca Bongos, we had to call the care of paramedics. <laughs> Shone the light in his eye, and all he said was, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Alex, it's been wonderful to have grown up with you, watching you grow into this beautiful, smart, and kind woman. It's crazy to think that Alex used to get picked on by the boys in our group because she had big glasses and frizzy blonde hair. Our coach at the time, who's in this room, he always told us that you better stop picking on Alex. That if you look at Alex's mom, you'll regret it in 10 years. <laughs> Because let's face it, Vivian's hot. <laughs> Alex, you're so lucky to be marrying such a genuine, kind, thoughtful man. And Dan, you're so lucky to be marrying Alex because, come on, she's way out of your league, buddy. <laughs> Cheers to the couple. Alex met Dan when she was eight years old. <laughs> Little did she know she was meeting the man of her dreams. <laughs> little Dan and little Alex began their lifelong friendship so many years ago. Daniel has been an official part of our family, an unofficial part of our family for so many years. I was actually trying to remember when we first met. Over the years, as I've gotten to know Dan, I can say that he is wonderfully kind, supportive, fun, caring, and truly a wonderful partner grounding and loving for Alex, and I think Alex for Dan as well. So Alex and I met about nine years ago in the bathroom of a club, no less. <laughs> we decided then and there that we were going to be best friends, and that's what we did. From that moment on, our relationship grew as we discovered our many common interests, such as drinking too much on party buses, <laughs> taking absurd amounts of pictures, and of course, our love for Justin Bieber. <laughs> Dan, I'm so glad that my beautiful best friend found the love of her life. You're truly perfect for her in so many ways, and I couldn't be more thrilled for the two of you. Alex, we've been through so many stages of life together. Your words of wisdom and outlook on life are inspiring and make me so excited for the future. I'm so proud of the person you've become and how much you've grown together over the past nine years. Thank you for all the adventures pep talks, the trips around the world, concerts together, family dinners, for laughing so hard with me, <laughs> crying, <laughs> and crying so hard that we both die of laughter. Thank you for being the voice of reason when I need it, but also acting like a child with me 90% of the time. Thank you for not only being my best friend, but my wife forever, and my sister. I'm so honored to have been a part of your special day. I love you so much. Daniel was also very athletic and tried several sports growing up, but swimming was always his favorite and where he excelled. And it was through swimming that he first met Alex. Dan and Alex only swam in the same group for a few years, and we remembered Alex from that time, but we hadn't seen her for quite a few years. When Daniel told us in the summer of 2012 that he had begun to date Alex and that she was going to be coming over to the house, we remembered her as tall and lanky with long curly blonde hair. So why was Taylor Swift sitting in our living <laughs> room? <laughs> However, it didn't take long for us to realize that the young Alex from our memory had become a very beautiful young woman. Alex, I can't promise you that life with Daniel will always be easy. <laughs> but I do know that he loves you deeply and that he will always do his very best to make you happy. Daniel, your father and I are proud of the person that you have become. And Daniel and Alex, I'm so proud of you both for what you've accomplished, both in your relationship and in your lives. I've seen you grow into such amazing people. On your wedding day, this is the advice that I have for you. You will have hard days and you will have great days as well. Just remember to love each other no matter what. Success in marriage does not come merely through finding the right partner, but through being the right partner as well. Always treat each other well and nurture the love that you have for one another. 
I hope that years and decades from now, that you are still in love with each other, even more deeply in love than you are today on your wedding day. To Daniel and Alex. Uh, many years ago, uh, Viv and I, uh, we had our first baby. We were really excited about it. I was really happy, I was ecstatic. Then when I brought Alex home, I uh, wrote our little message. I'd like to read it tonight for you all. Hello, Alexandra. It's your dad. Well, I'm a father. I don't know how good a father I'll be, and I have no idea what to do or how to clean him up. I've never taken care of anyone before. But I do know one thing, and that's how I feel and especially at this moment. My cup of love has never been so full or so concentrated, and watching you being born and now being brought home in my arms gives me, I think, all the fatherly tools I need so that one day, when you're all grown up, you can feel all the happiness and love in the world with your baby. I love you, your dad Aldo. So today I'm going to be telling you a story about the moment I knew how much my older brother truly meant to me and just how perfect he and my new amazing sister Alex are. Growing up with Dan as an older brother was not always the easiest thing. First of all, in most places, my name was not Tim. It was Dan Johnson's brother. He was always so smart, so sociable, and so incredibly athletically gifted. I mean, like Karim mentioned, he even attended the Olympic trials. Now, he wouldn't always make fun of me or put me down for not doing as well, but he'd let it be known, and in my eyes, this all cast a huge shadow. So much to live up to and so much room for failure. I felt like Dan didn't care and barely even knew I existed. A memory from 10 years ago, um, we were playing a water polo game at Dixie. Now, at one point later on in the game, I was having a little bit of a scuffle with one of the players, and basically he went with one of these underwater. As I'm swimming back towards the wall, the only thing I see in here is Dan go up to the guy and say, if you ever touch my brother again, PG, I'll end you. Something like that. <laughs> now this is my brother, who I thought couldn't give a second thought of me, went up and was the first one to defend me. And I remember sitting on that bench through all the tears, being one of the happiest moments of my life. For me, it was the first time I truly felt love from my brother, and all those emotions of jealousy vanished and were replaced with admiration and love. Since that day, our relationship has grown so much, and I've seen such a growth and change in your personality. Alex, I want to thank you so much for all you've done for Dan. Since you've started dating, you've helped him grow into such a kind and caring man. An amazing uncle, an attentive doggy daddy, an enslaved Instagram husband. And I and I cannot wait until I can add loving father to this list. You are the perfect compliment to him, and I am incredibly proud and honored to call you my sister. Dan, I just want to end this with something I don't say enough, because I can find the words that will properly describe it. You are my best friend, and I love and admire you so much, and I cannot wait to grow old alongside the both of you and become even better friends each and every single day along the way. Now quickly, before I give up the mic, I thought I'd take this opportunity to tell everyone to follow our podcast, the Poorly Club Podcast. Um, we're on Instagram, Spotify, iTunes. You can find us everywhere. To Dan and Alex, the happiest couple. Alex and Dan, like in any relationship, have worked to truly better understand each other and be the best partners that they can be for each other. Like Aldo told Alex so many years ago, when the train of life stops at your station, you can either sit back and watch it go by, or you can hop on and enjoy the ride. You two have hopped on together and are enjoying all that life has to offer. Alex, do you take Dan as your lawfully wedded husband? I do. And Dan, do you take Alex as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. You may exchange rings. Yeah. By the power vested in me by law, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride! <laughs>
got a feeling That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good, good night A feeling That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good, good night of feeling That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good, good night of feeling That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good night Tonight's gonna be a good, good night Tonight's the night, let's live it up I got my money, let's spin it up Go out and smash it, like oh my god Jump out that sofa, let's kick it off years ago uh, Alex told me that she met this guy and she didn't know if she should uh, date him or not and uh, she asked my advice and when she did that I knew it was serious because uh, she never asked me that before I told her that I think that she should uh, go for it because that's what life's all about it's all about taking risks and chances and uh, when you started dating him all of a sudden the door knocked and it opened and Dan was there and he said uh, do you think I could stay with you for a couple of weeks <laughs> I said, yeah, of course you can stay for a couple weeks. Well, those weeks turned into uh, quite a number of years. <laughs> Dan, I've never met anyone who could stand beside their partner the way you did with Alex. It gave me a lot, a lot of love for you and a lot of respect. And uh, today, when I came in the car with Alex and driving there, I still thought because you're my little girl, I didn't want to give you away. <laughs> But I knew who I was giving you away to, and I thought of it as like, I'm not giving you away, I'm opening the door, and when you walked out, I watched you fly. And, uh, and you make me so proud. I think you're the greatest couple I've ever witnessed, and I'm really looking forward to the kids that you guys are gonna have. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Congratulations. Let's live it up and do it, and do it, and do it, do it, do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, do it, do it, do it. Here we come, here we go. We gotta rock, 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 rock. Easy come, easy go. Now we on top, feel the shot, body rock, rock it, don't stop. Round and round, up and down, around the clock. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Gonna be